are watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Get ready to find hope. Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success. From the Total Success Coach, Princess Bola Adelani. Hi, this is Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. It is December 2011, and if you're like me, you're thinking, where did 2011 go. As far as I'm concerned, it looks like the, the year just came and went like that. Before we could say Jack Robinson, hey, the year is over, you know? And um, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but these days, time just seems to be flying. I mean, with, these are the days of jet speed, um, high speed, everything, and it looks like time also is speeding. And... Um, you know, this time of the year I know is a very busy year with all the festivities and parties and planning for Christmas and what of you. But I wanted to challenge you actually today to just take a few minutes, and we're going to do it together on the show. Just take a few minutes of your time, a few minutes away from all the hustle and bustle to take stock. we got to take stock. You know, another year is about to bite the dust. And my question to you, and my question to myself will be, what have you accomplished? How much closer are you to the goals that you set for yourselves at the beginning of the year? And even if you didn't set goals for yourself at the beginning of the year, what have you accomplished in 2011? I think these are the kinds of some of the very important questions that we really need to address and ask ourselves because you know without stock taking without looking and checking and taking inventory and looking back and you know measuring and evaluating and assessing where we are how can we plan strategies concrete strategies for going forward you know we'll just be at stalemate and i know that you don't want to be at stalemate i know you want to keep moving forward going forward every day, closer and closer to your goal, to your dream, to your destiny. So we want to take stock. We want to evaluate. What did you accomplish in 2011? How, what was this year like for you? Let us start, you know, with um, financially, you know. Um, you know, everyone that's watching, most of my viewers are career professionals, business owners, business executives, and what of you? And even for the students, will come, will come to you. But you know, how did you do financially? I know that you're going to be coming to that time of the year, the end of the year. Once we hit the new year, it will be tax season. But 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 evaluate, measure, take stock of your your finances. You know, um, you know what cont How much money did you make? What contracts? What deals were you able to close on? You know, how are you looking financially this year? Even if you're a career professional who's kind of on a set income, the question you should be asking yourself is, how many days off did I have this year? Did I have to call out? Did I have any opportunity for overtime? What was actually my gross income? What did I do? How well did I do in 2011 financially? And then you want to also look at 
maybe in your career, you know, where, how well did you move forward? Did you get a promotion? You know, were you unemployed? Did you start a new job? So assess yourself as well and take stuff of where you are professionally. Okay, it's really important professionally. You know, if you're self-employed, how many deals did you close on? And um, the other thing you want to also look at is how did you close those deals? How did those deals happen? You know, what strategies? Where did they come from? What strategies, what networking did they come from? Where did the referrals come from? For 80% of your income, they say you, it comes from 20% of your referral bill. That's a Pareto principle. And so, you know, you want to really look in and zero in on that 20%. Where is that 20% that was responsible for 80% of my income? You know, so you want to take stock. And you want to write all of this down. You know, you want to write all of this down. Maybe you had a personal goal like you wanted to lose weight, like we all do at the beginning of the year. How many pounds have I lost? How far am I from my goal? Those are some of the things you want to to write down and you want to take stock, you know, and then you want to do that because, like I said, you know, if you do not take constant and regular stock, you don't pause, you don't press the pause button to stop and think and evaluate and measure, do you know that ultimately, you know, you, like you just be raising through life and um, God forbid, at the end of your life, you look back and you have never really accomplished anything. They say you have to inspect what you expect. So, you know, take stock. Take stock. Okay, those personal goals. Maybe you wanted to go on a vacation with family. Maybe, you know, you wanted to go mountain climbing, whatever. Maybe you wanted to adopt a child or a pet or something. Whatever it was, did, how did I do? What did I accomplish? And what was responsible for that success? Okay, and then also, you know, part of what you take stock is your failures. How well didn't I so do? Why was I stuck? Why wasn't I so successful in this arena or in that arena? I mean, it is so important. So, I mean, I welcome you again to Inspired Success in case you're just tuning in. It's December of 2011, and we're taking stock together on the show today. We are taking stock together on the show. It is so important. And, you know, I, I've been challenging viewers to, to take time out of the business because it's so busy, you know, this time of the year with the Christmas holidays and all the shopping and everything, you know, it's such a busy time of the year. But I really want us, because it's the end of the year, to take stock, to evaluate, to measure where we are vis-a-vis -vis where we are trying to go or where we plan to go where we intended to go. And if you didn't have a plan, just measure where you are. Are you still unemployed? Are you still out of work? You know, and um, how many networking meetings did you attend? How many, how many um, resumes did you send out? How many applications did you fill? Take stock. You know, we talked about also taking stock financially. Take stock of your relationships. You know, you know your marital relationship. Where are you and your spouse? Are you still far away? Have you, are you closer than you were at the beginning of the year? Did you have time for vacation? Take stock with your children. And if you're a student, for example, take stock. Take stock of, you know, your grades, you know. How did you do in this semester or even throughout the course of the year? Because, you know, you're going to take all that information and use it to begin to plan for the new year. You got to plan for the new year. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And the only sensible way to plan is to first of all review the strategies uh, that you used in the previous year. Is to review so that you can eliminate certain things. You can say to yourself, oh, this didn't work this year. You know what I'm saying? This didn't work. So, of course, you're going to eliminate that because they say only a fool keeps doing the same thing over and over again but expect different results, and I know you're no fool. So, you know, part of the advantage or the benefits or the power of really stock taking is, is that you can then look back and you can say, hmm, 
this didn't quite work this year, okay? I was going to the gym, I was on this diet, and I plateaued at this, but this strategy worked for me. And so you can know that in the new year, that will be the one to keep on doing, or you can know what to eliminate. You can know the, the things to, you know, that were the distractions that to, you need to get out of your life, okay? And so that is the power of taking stock. So after you've really taken stock, you've looked at every area of your life and you've written it down. It is so important to write these things down because when you write it down, you can always come back to it. And there is a way that writing helps to reinforce, you know, those thoughts, okay? And just kind of bury it in your subconscious. And if you're the iTech age, a geek, you know, you can... You can type it, just put it in your iPad or whatever, but make sure it's noted down. So evaluate, take stock of every area of your life, your personal life, you know, your, even your spiritual life. If you're like me, you're a woman of faith, you know, and, um, you know, how well did I do spiritually this year, you know, in my relationship with God? How much closer am I to God? You know, how prayerful was I? How often did I spend time? meditating, fasting, you know, how much time did I spend in the Word, um, you know, and, and just take stock, take stock of where you are spiritually. So, and like I said, you now take that information as we're looking forward to a new year. I know we're all looking forward to the prospects that a new year would bring, you know, we're looking forward to the possibilities and everything. And, um, you know, we're looking over to starting over again the new opportunities. So, but you need to take all that information and then begin to plan for 2012. You know, begin to plan your goals, your strategies. You know, um, if you're looking for work, you know, what, what exactly should I be doing? What new thing could I be doing? What new place could I be networking? You know, have I exhausted all this, um, you know, contacts here? Are there new arenas to explore? You know, if it's you're setting a goal, like um, you want to lose weight or, you know, you want to be married, you know, am I going to join a gym? Am I going to do this? Am I going to go on match.com or whatever, you know, so that you can begin to plan your strategies and take those strategies, hopefully for 2012, and, um, you know, begin to implement them so that you can actually, actually achieve your goals and you can achieve your dreams and you can achieve your objectives. Because I think there's nothing more tragic than a life lived with, uh, without reaching their dreams, you know, unfulfilled dreams. I don't think there's anything more tragic, anything more sad, anything sad, anything more miserable than that. So you really, you need to begin to focus on, on, your, on your goals, focus on your dream, and begin to map out the plans and the strategies that you will take you from here to there. It's just not going to happen. You know, you can't just keep waking up every day and just going through the motions and going through life without actually stopping and pausing and gaining control. Take control of your destiny. Take control of your life. It's yours. Nobody's going to do it for you. And you only have this sh a shot at life once. That's what I believe. It's only once. You only spend, you know, so many years on this side of eternity once. You only get a, a shot at life once. So make the most of it. Maximize it. Make sure you live a life that's impactful, that's meaningful, you know, live a, a, a legacy that, that is inspiring to people. Make sure you, you make a difference. And the way to do it is to take stock. And that is exactly what we're doing today on Inspire Success. We are taking stock. We are taking stock. I'm challenging you to take time out of your busy schedule, out of the hustle and bustle of the December month, the Christmas month, to take stock and write. Write it down. Put it on your iPad. Write it down and begin by asking yourself those important questions. Where am I financially? Where am I spiritually? Where am I emotionally? Where am I personally? Where am I in my relationships? 
you know, where am I professionally? And then when you assess all of that, the next step will be to say to yourself, hey, you know what? This is my success. This is what I've accomplished. And this is what worked. This is what was responsible for that. Remember the Pareto principle, 20% is responsible for 80% of the output. So which 20% am I going to take into 2012? Which 80% am I going to eliminate? And um, I'm telling you, you'll be you on your way to success in 2012. Um, you'll be much closer to your dream. And of course, don't forget that um, I'm always here, your partner in total success, to really help you to achieve your goals and your dreams in all spheres of your life. Now, I'm about to close the broadcast, but I cannot close without sharing a huge opportunity with you. A huge, huge opportunity with you. It's an opportunity to give back. You know, that's one of the things that characterizes this season. It's give back season. It's a season to give. And um, part of, you know, also remember the stock taking is that we're looking at our finances. And I was talking about tax season coming up as soon as we hit January 2012. But you know what? Um, part of your finances and getting back money from the government is, is dependent on how much also you gave <laughs> during the year. At least you know that how that works um, in the, here in the States. Okay, Some of you viewers you know, overseas might not quite understand how that works. Um, you can, um, your charitable d donation is deducted from your taxes, you know. And so it's a deduction and you can, you, it gives you the opportunity to get more back. So I want to share that opportunity with you. Um, it's my annual, I've been doing it for eight years, annual, the eighth annual operation, Joy to the World. Yes, I partner with my um, church family and reach out to our inner city, um, the homeless and low residents um, that make up our inner city and reach out to families and children there through a Christmas Wonderland Carnival that features, you know, food and music and gifts, items and, you know, clothing and just um, all kinds of fun games and activities. And um, this year, as usual, it's on December 24th. So, um, you know, if you want to participate, you want to donate your time, you want to donate your finances, you want to donate your gift items. You know, we're looking for gift items like, um, you know, toiletries, like um, books and like um, gently worn clothing, um, you know, all kinds of gift items, gift cards and so on and so forth. Um, you can contact me and um, or you can bring it on the day. Actually, would prefer to have it before the 24th, when the event is going to take place. Um, it's going to take place at Glory Cathedral. Um, it's 1115 Broad Street in Hartford, Connecticut on Christmas Eve at 5 p.m. But, you know, your donation, whether you want to volunteer your time and just, you know, help, you know, in one of the stations to paint face, paint, paint, paint yeah, face painting, or you, maybe you're a puppeteer, maybe you're an artist or a performer, you want to sing, uh, whatever, you know, just let me know. Um, there's so much that you can do to give back. And um, there is nothing that can be compared to the joy um, that you get from giving. And there's nothing that can compare to the smiles that you see on the faces of the children and the families who come out to this event. Again, it's the 8th Annual Operation Joy to the World. It's on Saturday, December 24th, which is Christmas Eve at Glory Cathedral, 1115 Broad Street in Hartford, Connecticut. And, um, you know, it features uh, an indoor Christmas Wonderland Carnival. And, um, you know, any way in which you can support will be greatly appreciated. And, um, you know, that is just all what this season is about. As you take stock, um, you know, as you take stock of, you know, your own personal life and um, you take inventory and you're looking back. Also, 
remember that there are people not as fortunate as you are, you know, and so don't be so depressed, <laughs> okay? Cheer up now. You know, there are the people who are worse off than you, who didn't accomplish as much as you did, okay? And um, hey, so maybe part of your stock taking is to say to yourself, you know, I want to give back more. I want to be more engaged in my community. I want to be more supportive. And, um, you know, that might be a goal for you, an area that you want to improve upon. So I'm so excited. I'm delighted. I want to thank you for kind of being with me through the year, you know, for tuning in faithfully since January of this year. Um, I meet a lot of you in, uh, in around and about town who say they watch the program and you're inspired by it. I want to thank those of you who post comments on our Facebook page. Yes, Inspired Success is on Facebook. So just search for face, um, on Facebook for Inspired Success TV and like our page and feel free to post comments. On, and um, of course, we're on Twitter. And, you know, send us tweets, uh, shoot me an email, and um, let's stay connected. So I want to just thank you for really sharing your journey to total success with me this year. Uh, I look forward to um, 2012 and, um, you know, to the opportunity to continue to inspire you to total success, to improve, to be better. You know, I, I, I really look forward to that opportunity. I look forward to the opportunity as well to meeting you, of meeting you in person. You know, I, 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 I host a lot of events, as you know, during the course of the year um, for women and for men as well. And so hopefully you'll come out to one of them. Hopefully you'll support Operation Joy to the World and contact me about how you can do that and how you can participate. Um, I wish you a very Merry Christmas, uh, a prosperous 2012. And yes, I look forward to seeing you as you have taken stock. I look forward to, you know, imp um, an improved and better life for you, um, a year of fulfilled dreams and great accomplishments. Uh, this is Princess Bola Adelani, the total success coach, He's reminding you to keep smiling. Hey, put a smile on your face. Come on now. You know, life's too short, I can say. <laughs> keep learning. Keep believing. Keep networking. Keep on keeping on. I'll see you in 2012. Don't forget to connect with me on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter. And God bless you. Enjoy your Christmas holiday. Bye-bye.